One of the best openings in a movie that I've seen in the past few years was an origin. And this movie is able to create tension. You know, you're watching it and you feel it. You feel like something is going to go on. And this is just a man walking into a store, buying some things and leaving. And somehow the production design, the the camera movement, the the blocking, everything about that scene says some something crazy is about to go on. I don't know what it is, but something, the sound design, everything about it is like I don't know. <laughs> but it's just tension and then that tension is released. And I feel like in terms of setting a tone of a film, this movie does it best. Like in the first two minutes, you already know what type of story we're going for. We already know how to feel about the movie. And the person that you meet is not even the main character. And then you meet the main character and then you go through the main character's journey. The story is not told in a linear way. It's a story about a lot of things. It's, it's a lot of concepts are happening. There's a lot of things that are being said. And for me, Eva DuVernay did a phenomenal job with this movie. You know, this are this... For me, when I when I criticize films, I'm 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 very bland because sometimes it's like, man, what are we doing? People complain <laughs> that people don't go to the theater anymore, and then when you go to the theater, it's like, why did I even come here? This is something that I wish I'd seen in the theater because it was worth it, and it was even worth just watching on my small screen because of what the movie is, how it's short, the stories it tells, and how enjoyable of a film. It is, man. Like, I've never seen something like this before. You know, the acting is on a different level. The camera, in terms of cinematography, it does what it has to do. It helps tell the story. It helps push the narrative. You're never confused where you are and what's happening. The editing, the pacing, everything is intellectually sound. Everything is thoughtful. And the film has, a, it makes a stand and it asks a question that it attempts to answer, you know, by the end of it. Because the whole construct of the film stems from the idea of racism and caste and, and things, how interconnected everything is and how when we go back, we sort of understand what happened. And it questions a lot of things in terms of how we view each other in our society and it makes us question this thing. And as a black person, as an African, as somebody who, you know, sometimes it feels like society looks down upon, I can relate. You know, I don't know. I don't watch films from a white person's perspective. I don't watch from a privileged perspective because I don't know what that is like. But when you watch these things, a lot of things make sense. You know, when you see how the film, when when the the argument is made in terms of how the how Hitler treated Jews and how slaves were treated in America and how that can correlate in terms of the laws that were created and how these laws were basically the same things that were institutionalized in Germany and how these things were used in India and how these things globally work. And I wish there was an African way of showing how colonialism as well created this caste system, which I feel like lives on to this day. And the film then makes that argument and it goes to prove the point of how these things are intertwined, you know, and how in India things happen, how things in Germany happen, how things in this happen. And it, it, it drives into that. And, you know, it's a topic where it's uncomfortable. You don't really want to go through it, but you have to go through it because there's the conversations that are, that are there and where you realize that a lot of hurt and pain that's put on a group of people that pain how it affects those people but also how the people that are oppressive and how the people when they come up you know it's not like i did this but it's like i benefit from it and it's my perspective of your life and how you know our world is now created and the origination of all these things and i think it's a film that helps us question ourselves as a society of who are we and do we understand the origins of the views and, and the point of views that we've taken to this day, you know, how we see life in which lens we use. And the film does that in a very poignant way. And it does that in a way that's 
that special you know you develop relationships with these with these people and it highlights a lot of things you know the nuances in this film where you're like damn man like she showcases how a white man or just a man the concept of a man is more respected than a woman at some point when she's like hey I don't want this and the man just ignores her and then this guy steps in and the guy does that thing and he respects her and he shows you how women are treated but also not just women but black women are treated in our society and how you can be accomplished as a as a black woman and still be treated upon as nobody and these are realities these are minor things that happen in our society which we brush off I'm like mm, man don't think about that but then this movie puts them in the forefront and that's something that editing storytelling everything comes together and it helps you create that and this is something that i appreciated about watching the film it says something it takes a stand it's not afraid to say what it's saying you can agree or disagree but this is what it's saying and how what do you think of what it's saying you know and i think that that's something that she does amazingly well and then we go back to that opening scene and it's the story of Trayvon Martin and you're like oh shit I should have known, you know, and how they able to build that tension, you know, to when he finally dies. We don't really get to get into all that detail, but we know what happened. And then it goes back to this this four people who were doing research during the, the times, you know, before the civil rights and in 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 what was happening in Mississippi in, in places like this where people still view black people as this and that you know and you go through that and you're like oh shit damn you know it must have been rough these people were not black like me these people were mixed and you're like oh crap you know this was their experience and what i like about the whole thing about the whole movie is just the construction of shots pace and everything like it's in there like you don't have to linger and think about what's happening and a lot of you know what she does very well is is a show don't tell like a lot of it you can see it and you can feel it you can you can, you can sort of connect with each character and be like damn man this is really what's happening and i feel like this is an important movie to watch you know for you and yourself if you want to understand how our society how we've gotten to where we are i feel like this is a very important movie to watch and ever do when they always does this she she's the best at it she's amazing she's an amazing storyteller and her and the team what they managed to accomplish i clap my hands